Hi, Søren here at the Ecophonic Studio. I'm uh, working on some uh, last overdubs for the upcoming next single from the upcoming next album uh, of the Beatophonics. Uh, hopefully out very soon. Um, doing some special overdubs today and uh, you might look down and see oh he's playing that half an hour in bass again that he talked about in another video so now he's doing another half an hour video about his favorite bass but I'm not this time I'm talking about something quite different actually though it looks the same something's wrong with this thing actually look at this it's got six strings it's a guitar but it's a violin guitar. It's a Hofner 459 VT set, and it dates from 1967. Um, this is quite a special thing. You know how keen I am on the, the Hofner bass. If you if you watch this, my videos, you you will know actually. But um, I wish I could say the same thing about this. This is not my favorite guitar, but it's. Quite a funny little thing, actually, and it's uh, and it's uh, come to good use today because um, I'm doing some fuzz guitar overdubs, and uh, this morning I actually went through my I have to say collection of fuzz pedals. I thought I had about two or three, maybe that was what I seem to remember. The most important one. It turned out I have eight or nine or something. It's crazy. Um, so I went through them all and. Uh, yeah, they're fun. Some of them are really fun, actually. Um, some of them goes way back a long time with me. The actually, the big Mastro FZ1 S first tone pedal was my first ever pedal that I got at the age of eleven. I must have been ten, ten, eleven. Um, and I got kicked out of my first band because of that pedal. Actually, it sounds like crap. And but today, I mean, it sounds nice because if you back in '81, you you didn't want that as your your distortion sound. But um, so I was kicked out of the band. Anyway, I tried this morning, and it sounds still sounds great. And uh, I tried some of the other fuzz pedals that are that's on the picture I've shown you. Um, and there's some really nice ones, and especially I've always been a fan of the the solar sound um, tone bender, the color sound tone bender. Sorry, not solo sound, the color sound tone bender. Um, that's one of my favorites. But I came to think of there's another possibility, and that's this guitar, because it's got a built in battery driven um, fuzz effect. And um, why not try that? So I plugged it out and plugged it in, and it actually sounds amazing, this fuzz. This is. Um, guitar without the fuss. Um, it's now on the bridge pickup, so and it's, it might sound a little thin, but um, uh, that will change when I turn on the, the fuss in a few minutes. Um, Unfortunately, this uh, pickup switch um, that, that, that talks from neck pickup, both of them, and bridge pickup, has broken off. So um, I'm stuck in the uh, neck uh, bridge position at the moment. It's got um, it's got the same vibrola system as uh, the Verifin Hofner uh, from the same period. Uh, especially uh, apart from that, that that's been. Um, it's a little shorter, actually. It's um, um, the very thin is a little longer bass, um, and this one was this was missing from from the guitar when I got it. Someone had taken it off and put on a, a regular tailpiece, and I wanted to get it back to original. So what I did was to find a very thin vibrato, having it cut up and put together back again by a guy who does a friend of mine who's really good at this metal stuff. And um, and then I, I had a, a new um, um, chrome job done on it, so it's back. It looks like the original. Um, but what's really interesting, apart from the the shape of this guitar, uh, is the electronics in this guitar. 
because it's got a built-in um, tone booster and a built-in fuzz and um, to deliver the power for that there's a, a 9 volt battery capacity here you unscrew this and you've got a 9 volt battery in here you can see it's a bolt on neck actually it's one of the that's how Hofner started to do it back uh, at that time in around 66, 67 um, the violin guitar was also made for a short period as without this um, uh, active electronics uh, the first version of it came, came out in 66 and it had the, the more regular humbugger pickups and just um, a volume, two volumes I think, and a tone control like three knobs on the strip down here and um, in 67 they changed it to this configuration with the active electronics and uh, the shark fin pickups. I'm not a big fan of shark fin, I think I said this before um, Unless you want a really, really, you want to really drive your your amps out, they got very high out, output, and uh, I always favor pickups with uh, has more dynamic to them. So this is not my my favorite Hofner pickup, I would say, but um, it's great for this one because of the fuzz actually you need some power to to drive them. Um, it's a fairly good player. I mean, it's it's nothing. It's good. Quite a wide neck compared to, to other Hofners. Funnily enough, standing with this one playing guitar is quite different. For some reason, it just feels so natural, so right when when you're playing bass to, to be standing with the, that Hofner uh, violin shape thing. But for some reason, it's just strange with the, when you're playing guitar. So. I've used it here and there, you know, for uh, for occasionally for special parts and stuff, you know. But um, yeah, let's see. it's kind of cool. It looks cool. I love the hairstyle a lot. It's great. I love that that kind of Hofner hairstyle. Brilliant with the flowers and all that. Great. Anyway, let's get back to to the electronics because that's really what's important and fun about this guitar. Here's, you might be able to see, here's a switch which activates the, the, the built-in effects. It's got a regular tone, um, a volume and tone uh, controls down here, um, but these four controls is for the active electronics. This one turns the circuit on, here we go, and this one controls whether you're going for the tone booster in this position, the fuzz, or both of them. That's a heavy one. I tend to like the fuzz a lot. There's a control for um, treble boost. It's for the treble booster, obviously, and another one for the fuzz. So that's it. Quite simple. I end up with this one. This, this uh, sound reminds me of uh, one of my favorite albums, Amy Mann's I'm With Stupid, which I think dates from mid-1995, I think, when that came out and I heard that album, I just loved it. I, I, I didn't listen to anything for months, you know, it was like the guitar playing on the album, the songwriting is fantastic, her scene, I, I love the lyrics, and, um, and she had, you know, my favorite... Um, songwriter team, uh, one of my favorite songwriting teams, uh, Chris Stifford and Glenn Tilbrook of Squeeze, they did backing vocals and Glenn even played guitar on some of the tracks which um, really is something, he's uh, one of my favorite guitarists. And um, so I just completely love that album uh, from, from when it came out. And another guy who, who played on a few tracks on that album was um, uh, Bernard Butler of Suede which I was heavily into at that time as well. Great guitarist, great guy. Um, great
great songwriters, man. So um, I love that, and I think he did some of these fast parts. Or it might have been, could have been John Bryan, the producer, actually. He did some great work on that album. Um, great metal drum work, Chamberlain stuff, and, and uh, you know the kind of stuff that I love, and uh, f lots of fast guitar. <laughs> Use it way too little actually. Um, and obviously, this the foster's built into this guitar sounds really, really great. So, uh, I think I'm gonna stick to that today uh, for, for doing this um, uh, part for the, the Beatlephonics single. So, watch out for the single. The song is called um, I Go Through Emotions, and it will be out quite soon, hopefully. See you there. That's not for me and the Hofner. 4.59 VT set date from 1967 see you guys <laughs>